welcome back to my native Yorkshire. We are at the Ramada and Car Hotel today. Now this hotel was newly built for Doncaster Airport a few years ago. And as we all know, Doncaster Airport is not an airport anymore. They couldn't afford to keep it running. It is the old Finninley base, if anyone knows that, in South Yorkshire. Now it wasn't until recently that I found out that this hotel wasn't open to the public. Hi Stephen. And then I read a news report that just behind this hotel here there's a little wooded area and there is a independent school. A school that people pay a lot of money to send their children to. And it's backing on to a migrant hotel. Now the news report says that the the head teacher of this school has had to write out to all the parents of the children to tell them to be extra vigilant when they're at school. There is extra security being put around the school. They are patrolling the wooded area that you can just see that separates the hotel and the school. Now we've just been for a drive around the school and we were going to park in the car park as it's still like airport ground around here and there's, there's nowhere that you can park. But I got out of my car to take a picture of the private school when a van pulled up at the side of me asked me why I was taking photos and I said that I was a, a reporter and I'm just reporting on a, a recent issue here. And she asked me politely if I would leave the car park, which I did. So we just my business's car park. So here we go guys, there are supposed to be 100 people in here from Afghanistan. They have been in here a couple of years. May 2022, just so happened the Doncaster Airport closed down around that time and then they, Peel Group, loaned it to the Home Office. Now there's 100 supposedly Afghan refugees inside here, uh, sneaking in the woodland behind, climbing into the school, sat on benches talking to the children that are paying £18,000 a year to stay in the school. Harassing the comments. The paid students behind that they're spending eighteen thousand pounds a year on their education, and the migrants are going through the woods and um, harassing the kids. So we're here to a visit. So let's go take a visit inside the hotel. Um, oh, do you think we can get over there? Active, active. 
Active, active, secure it in front of your old staff out back, John. Just look at the staff out, secure it here. Uh, old staff are out back having a break. Oh, really? No. Now there's some round here. <coughs> Beautiful hotel. No problem, mate. Can I just go off the premises? Beautiful please, hotel. Um, we're just here to do a report <clears throat> about about a recent incident here, that has happened from residents of this hotel, and I've come to ask if I can have some answers as to what is happening Living when a pr up. when a private what? school next door has to write out to That's all all, about, all the parents. You're on the premises and you're trespassing. All the but. You trespass into the police. But, but we will. We'll, no, no. Thank listen, you. we're going. We're going to go when we've done our report. I'm happy to leave the premises when I've had some questions answered. I'm here to ask some questions about a recent incident in this hotel um, concerning the asylum seekers. I'm going, guys. You don't have to call the police. Yeah, yeah, and I'm going, and I'm going, sir, but I just wanted some answers, and I, I just wondered if they'd answer our questions. I wonder if there's a bit of an easier way out from it than there. Do you think so, guys? I am on my way out of the property, but I don't really fancy for health and safety reasons getting out of that, that way. I'm just finding a safer way out of the property, sir. I'm on my way out of here. I don't want to fall over those barriers again. Let's see if I can get out here. Good morning, everyone. Can you believe half an hour down the road from me? And there's another hotel tucked away. And if it wouldn't have been for the report in the Doncaster Free Press regarding this private school here, alleging that people from this hotel are coming through a wooded area. into the independent school it also is also said as well that migrants just went and sat down in the school with the students so i go into an independent school staff car park and i must have leave yet asylum seekers can get into that school that is pretty frightening isn't it can't find another way out so looks like i'm gonna have to go over those barriers surely there's a way out of here where they go out in case they move those every time that they leave this hotel Excuse me. <laughs> I don't want to talk. 
I don't want to talk. There must be a way. Because there's extra patrols being taken part in this woodland here. But I've been asked to leave the hotel, so I will now leave the hotel. Yeah, Mitch. I've not seen him. So yeah, they've obviously been pretty sure that Oh no, this is the way out, isn't it, guys? We've been pretty sure that no one knows this hotel is here until there has been incidents reported from Hill House Independent School, which is £18,000 per year. The head teacher has had to send letters home to the pupils' parents to tell them to be extra vigilant when they're at school, they're putting extra security on, which is, I suppose, understandable when they just came to me for taking a photo because they've had an asylum seeker in their school just sat down with the children. The children must be petrified. So here we are guys, Ramada Hotel, on the now, not in use, Doncaster Robin Hood Airport. So it's looking like as soon as the airport was closed, after it had not been open that long, they moved the asylum seekers into this hotel. Now they've been here since May 2022 and it was only brought to light to me recently in the last few days when a, a local resident sent me the story in the Doncaster Free Press. So if anyone wants to go and have a look at the story to confirm my details then you can look in there.
last year that we didn't have as many the weather was so bad with the channel that the traffickers yeah. don't risk more deaths. No. You know? It's an illegal trade, isn't it? And us in, us in our little native countries, where, where do you think they go? We just, our children and our grandchildren, they won't even be able to afford a property yeah. like I could afford. Yeah. I know. We just cannot cope with it. I know. We can't. I know. I'm so still waiting for an appointment at DRI and I've been waiting way before. Well, it started when Covid and I've been waiting since way before Christmas for an appointment. It's not, you know. And then, then all these extra people that are put in our areas, they're yeah. all going yeah. into yeah. In, into our lists as well, aren't but they? Have you noticed there's no women in there? They're all young and fit men. Yeah. What's wrong? But for, for me reporting on that, I get called a racist. Well, and that not. is not right. No, you're not a racist. That is not right. You ask most of the general population if they're mm. honest, because a lot are. Yeah, a lot of scared. Them. Yeah. Scared. Yeah. You see, I'm not bothered, me. I've said things before and I've been took off Facebook. I'm not bothered because I'm speaking the goddamn truth. It's too. real. We're realists, know. you know. Yeah, we are. We're not you know, do good. Our forefathers, they fought yeah, for they this, this island. Yeah, they did. You know? But yeah, people do. Feel, feel the same. Yeah. I know, I know. See, I'm not bothered what people can call me racist because I know I'm not. I know, and I know I'm not as well, and so my family knows yeah, that I'm not. They can call me what they like. I'm yeah. just thinking, we're sinking, we can't afford them. Yeah, we yeah. can't afford them. We cannot afford them. No, we can't afford our own. No. But anyway, thank you for your time. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. You're You'll welcome. take care. I thought you might have been to say I'm not. Oh, I, I am not the BBC. Nice uh, I'm Yorkshire Rose if you want to follow me on YouTube. I'm not, yeah, I'm not. No, none of us are. We're just frightened. We're just frightened people. But we're, they're, they're supposed to be 100 in there. We're all frightened, you know, about what's happening with these people from other countries. We don't know who they are. They're now harassing the children in an independent school that costs their parents £18,000 per year to put their children in that school. And one of one of your residents from this hotel got into the school and was sat on a bench talking to a pupil. Do you think that you guys, you know, your security, you ought to be chaperoning these people as they leave the hotel to keep our, to keep our children safe? Like I say, guys, if you want to read the report where I've been sent the information from, it is in the Doncaster Free Press, and it was put in a few days ago. Sold their souls. We have lots of people in poverty in our own country today, and then when they watch what's happening, it sickens them. Security company, do you work for Proforce? That, an old lady up there who's lived at Finnley all her life, walks her dogs and then walk her dogs round here on a Sunday afternoon when it's too quiet. That is what our country has come to. Right, everyone, we never get any questions answered. Now I'm going to walk across and just show you how near this school is. Hi, Jason. Thanks for being on. Thanks for all my mods that come on. I really, really appreciate it. Sometimes I don't always get a chance to look at a lot of my comments as I'm walking about because my eyes are all over. Um, but I do look at them later. But yep, yeah, the migrant men, as I have just had confirmed from an old lady who is a local resident, that they are all migrant men. Whereas the Doncaster Free Press 
just states that they are 100 I think it might have people from Afghanistan I don't think it said men but they're not happy with three meals a day kept in the warmth, clothed given mobile phone contracts they are walking from that hotel and they're coming over into this independent school just had a good interview with a local lady who's frightened to walk round here on a Sunday afternoon when it's quiet and she's confirmed to me why are they all men so look guys so that that is literally the hotel there the migrants have been coming across this woodland and then getting straight into the independent school and like i say not only have they just been going in there they've actually been in the building if you want me, I'm going to be down the back of the hotel again, I think. All right, you... Please are coming, you've obviously told them, and we're not a threat. But they've been here by now, they're only fucking 10 minutes down the road. I'm going to try and get in again, interview with my husband. So, yeah. There we go, Hill House School. Migrant Hotel Housing 100 Migrant Men 18,000 pound a year Private School Migrant Hotel Definitely a few people making a lot of money. And those people, <clears throat> none of these issues will affect them. None at all. I think I can hear a, a police car in the distance. Police are here! Look at this guys, how long again? Five minutes, ten minutes. Do you live in Doncaster and can you not get a police officer to come out to a burglary? But yeah, you can get them to come out to a migrant hotel. When do you security? Ring 999. Are we alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. That's what you're doing? Yeah, we're doing a report about the hotel and the school. The um, migrants uh, harassing the girls from the school, private school. Right, OK. Have you not seen it in the press? What can I ask? We've obviously been called because when we've turned up, you've been on private property there, haven't you? It's not private property, really, is it, when the public are paying for it? Well, it's private property, it belongs to the hotel company. Yeah, but that's trespass, that's this, civil, that's this is, civil. This is obviously... It's Doesn't deserve a 999 call, does it? Well, that's civil. not does, your concern, does, is it, what deserves a 999 Well, it is yeah, when, yeah, when it's people it's can't get police it's, it's out. It's not a criminal offence. I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah, okay, but you're... Right. But, what, what, wait there, what, what's your badge number, sorry? It's, it's there to see. Are you, are you a sergeant? I am, yeah. Yeah, so you should know civil trespass. It's it's there, this guy actually went into the hotel. into the hotel Oh, okay. well, also I went into the hotels. That's still, still civil trespass, mate. And paid okay. for by the taxpayer, yeah? 
15 million pound a day. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Who pays what? Lynn, because okay. that's why we're doing our report. I'm asking you to not go on private property. I left, I left when I was asked and I don't think right. it Thank deserves you, you turning up with the blues and twos. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. You do know, mate. Dismissed. Oi. You not, you dismissed. Dismiss me, okay? I dismiss you. We do. Goodbye. We do. I'm on. We, I'm we on. Uh, I'm on uh, property yeah. which is for the public, and <laughs> I say you are dismissed. Oh my. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll just stop here as long as you want me to. Right? No, go and waste some more police time when you could be out catching uh, criminals. Yeah, you just wait. You're just wasting our yeah, taxpayers' the money. Yeah, it's out of um, round 999 for no reason. Hear <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, Shadra? Catch your waiters anyway. It'd be nice knowing you. Yeah. Hear that, Shadra? Moves and twos. So there we go guys, more police arrive when we film the Micro Hotel. How's our homeless people first? Better get off guys. Thanks for tuning in, please like and share this, subscribe to my channel. We've got lots more news to come. Good afternoon from Yorkshire Rose.